All right, so Saturday morning, and we're getting ready to head out yard sailing. I did not find too many things to go to, but we'll see what we can find. What do you got? Well, I got some watches. They're kind of cool. Usually they just need batteries. Buck or so a piece. They're fossil brand, so that's pretty good. Special. It's not for me. It's what is it called? It's only five dollars. Might as well we'll take a chance on it. Come We've got some eight millimeter commercial movies. We usually like the homemade ones. These aren't quite. I don't think these are quite what we're looking for. Oh, it's a Vegas. Anyway. I saw these here. I saw these here yesterday. It's like a pile of original artwork for a commercial for ads. I guess for a Kodak something or other. I got those secure. Original artwork. I've seen anything, anything too exciting, but what are you getting on these movies? Oh, there you go. One more here. What's that? Slapstick code. Uh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, that one's shot. store it's not open very often and we haven't been here yet this season and we're in the Christmas room right now we'll show you the rest of it but there's a lot it's a big store there's a lot of stuff we usually find something so we'll see that's, that's good pricing What do you got? Oh, it's just a 50 state quarters. Ah. Fold it. Like every place seems to have so many boxes and boxes of these things. You know, some of them are worth it. It's selling, but I don't know which ones. These look like those banana plugs, don't they? Mm. Monster DVD cords. Answers that question. Those aren't the ones we're after. 
say we've gotten a lot of baseballs and softballs here. I, I see some more, so we can take a look at them. Yeah, yeah. Found four. Add to the piles. There's a couple of projectors actually. Kodak Carousel 650. Empty. So you figure at this point, there's a couple of carousels, there's a, a 650H with an extra lens, that's a pretty decent one. But here's, if it doesn't work, and there's nowhere to really tell them to you bring it home and check it all out with a carousel and slides. So I don't know, we have like six of them now, you know. Mm -hmm. I don't think I really want more that may or may not be parts. I'm taking a closer look at them, but anyway, it's something we always look for. I'd actually rather find some slides in the projectors. So, what I'm doing, whenever I'm looking at this media, I'm just looking for sealed stuff for the most part, unless it's something grabs my eye. And there's a couple here, but they're, you know, pretty much no names as far as I know. I could look them up, but generally it doesn't produce much. There's a couple more sealed things I'm going to look up, and then we're going to move along. There is this, which is a VHS, and again, it's got the watermark on it, so you know it's not a resealed one. So this is an original sealed. I don't know if it's any good or not, but we'll find out in a second. So, this 38. <laughs> of course, you can't find anything nice now. Well, I shouldn't say that. I mean, I'm kidding around, but. And three have sold. But it was the Woody Allen sleeper that sold. Not sleepers, not this one. That's the one we want, right? Factory seal, 80,000. Wow. 600, 224 bids. What? That's why we're looking for VHS. Because you just never know. What is Some that? of them are pretty good. I have no idea, never heard of it. <laughs> Do I keep my eyes open for it? Oh, I got a couple more here to look at. But Reader's Digest, Fascinating World of Animals. I'm going to guess no, but let's do the exercise anyway. Yes, here we go. 995. So that's not what we're looking for. Even though we can get it for 25 cents. <laughs> but the one that did sell sold for less than 435 plus 483 shipping. So it's definitely not what we're looking for. But one thing we are looking at these days... Um, this Hustle Q tipped us off to something I hadn't known before, his Bibles, old Bibles. He had a really neat story with a, with a Bible that he found recently, and it educated me. Even after, you know, 40 years of being in the business, I learned something. So it's great to watch these videos because you're always learning something. And thanks again, Hustle Q, for that. Check him out. It was a great story. We have copies of Nuki. <laughs> Okay, so here's what we got. First yard sale we stopped at. We picked up a bunch of Xbox 360 stuff. Now, I, not really my thing, and I don't know a lot about it, but I started buying it for a guy we met at the flea market who's a dealer and asked me to keep my eyes open. So I paid $22 for this whole lot. Turns out these are mostly, you know, as you know, probably 
unless they're special or sealed or something great about them. They're five bucks a piece plus or minus. So there's ten of those. That's about fifty dollars. And this Dance Revolution Universe with the mat is selling for fifty plus or minus. So for the twenty-two dollars I spent, that's about a hundred dollars worth of stuff. These next six items we got at the flea market, and it was five dollars for all of them. I had tables and tables and tables of five dollar stuff. I mean dollar a piece stuff. And as you know, we love new old stock. And here are a couple of vintage, I'm thinking 1960s car headlamps. And they were a dollar a piece. I'm finding those selling about 20 plus or minus each. So that's a $40 there. Again, all dollar stuff. But he sold us six things for $5. This Let's Go Shooting comic book put out by Remington in the 50s. Uh, one just sold for $15 plus shipping. This Honk November 1953 magazine. One of these sold for $12 plus shipping. Now, I don't think we're going to get that much because we don't typically list things. So these will probably just actually go back to the flea market and we'll bag them up and put them for 3 or $5 a piece. Take a little more time to sell them. Dynamite on Ice, Bobby Orr story. This is 1972 first printing paperback. That's going to a buddy of mine on, on my softball team. He's a, a Boston sports collector, and I'm, I'm going to give that to him. He buys stuff from me on occasion, and I think he'll find that pretty cool. So, you know, you find neat, neat gifts, too. And this is a folder of really classic um, Victorian-type cat postcards. There's 20 of them in there. And, again, that's going to go to a, that's, that's a gift for a friend of ours who's really into his cat. So we stopped at an estate sale. And we did a short on that. It was in the Wilbur-by-the-Sea area where they had tremendous hurricane damage. And this is a house that had some damage. So you got a little bit of a, a view on the short about that. But anyway, we bought five books there for, well, this is a four-volume set. So really eight books for $6. And again, you know, we're looking for very specific nonfiction. And so we've got America's Premier, Premier Gunmakers. This is a four-volume set. And doing the research, I'm finding that it has sold for 20 to 40 with shipping. And right now, the only ones out there, they're asking 10 and 20. So that's why we're going to end up going to the flea market for $10. U.S. Air Force in Southeast Asia, tactical airlift. This is about the Vietnam War era. And none of these sold, and people are asking 25 to 50 plus. So, again, we were shooting from the hip because we did not have internet access there so just taking a chance again you know specific non-fiction that's got the right look to me it just turned out not to be so anyway that's another ten dollar book for the flea market the greatest airlift this is a story of combat cargo in the korean war and this one's doing a little better it's sold between 25 and 40 with shipping and they're asking out there right now depending on condition between 25 and 85 so that one's probably you know 40 plus or minus Tales of a Tiger, this is about one of the flying, the top flying aces, and it's an actual reproduction of his handwritten diary from World War II, and this is a signed copy, and signed ones have sold between 10 and 95, and asking 25 to 100 plus, so, you know, 50 plus or minus on that, or at least 25 and up. Who Will Go, this is about a very famous POW rescue mission in Vietnam, not signed. One of these sold for $20, and they're asking $30 to $50 right now. So that's another pretty that's that's another pretty decent book. So for $8, we did pretty good with those five. Another thing we picked up at the flea market was this 35 millimeter film can, and it says 185 feet of unexposed negative. Um, paid two dollars for this and there is actually some film in a black bag inside here I'm not going to open it I'm going to sell it as is because if it is unexposed and I open it I ruined it so I'm just going to sell it as is like mystery is it unexposed is it exposed is it trash I don't know but I'm pretty much just going to sell the can and to get a bonus for what's inside if it is unexposed film that stuff sells for quite a bit of money because it's pretty hard to find unexposed 35 millimeter movie film so Anyway, that was kind of neat. Like we usually show, we show you the things that we keep for ourselves. Now these LED lights, these are, you know, little diamond cut globes 
44 feet per set, and there's two sets here. Um, they sell for about $25 or so, for what I could tell. I think Maker's Mark, I think that's Sam's Club or one of the big box stores. Anyway, we paid $4 for those, and it was something that was on our list for the household. So that's quite a savings for us. And we always consider saving money is like making money because we were going to go out and buy these anyway. So we got what we needed for $4. Another yard sale item. Got these BJJ Vision bamboo sunglasses in a bag, in a bamboo sleeve, in a box. We paid $5 for those. And we're not really finding these exact ones. There's a lot of bamboo sunglasses out there. But since these are so complete, and such a gift package, I'm pretty sure we can get, you know, 30 to $50 for those. Things that I buy all the time to put together lots in. And you've seen our baseball and softball lots in some of our videos. And our what has sold video. And we've got another one of those coming up pretty soon. So I paid four, $3 for the four of these. And they will be worth, you know, anywhere 10 to $12 when we put them together in lots. Blank Media, you know we buy that all the time. These are VHSC tapes. There's four of them sealed, and I paid $3 for the four of them. And those will be about $5 a piece when we put them together in lots. I think I got about enough. I like to do 10 or 12 when I do it, so I think I got about enough now. So here's one thing I want to talk about is having, like we mentioned at the beginning, uh, like we mentioned in the thumbnail, having two sets of eyes is definitely better than one. And... This is going to be also an example of that, plus also the sleeper of the day. So, my wife walks right by watches, and I look at them all the time. I bought these four watches for $8. Two of them are fossil watches, and I found one of these that had sold for about $50, but these are, you know, typically $30 to $50 a piece for us, you know, the chronograph types, girlfriend, boyfriend watches, whatever they call them. And these are two Geneva ones, which are not nearly as good. Uh, we may be able to get those for $25. I'm sure all I have to do is put batteries in them. And I keep batteries in stock all the time. I buy those real cheap online. So I paid $8 for these, something my wife walked right by. And here's a lot that I walked right by. It was in this bag. You can see $5 for everything, right? Now she recognized... Something I don't know anything about, and it's probably the first time she's even seen one since the 70s, but these are Vietnam POW MIA support bracelets. You, you know, when somebody went missing, they would sell these bracelets, and you'd wear them in, in honor of, of them returning home or in hopes that they're going to return home or whatever. And her friend had one of these in the 70s, so she recognized them right away. And, you know, usually when she says, well, do you want to buy... This, I think I want to buy this bag. It means she saw some gold or silver. So I'm looking at it. Everything in here is gold looking. I'm thinking, great, hey, she found some gold. But that wasn't the case this time. But these things are selling for 30 and up a piece. So that was pretty good right there. This little heraldic type uh, pin, I did a Google lens search on it. And there was one on Etsy. Someone asking $30 for one of those. Here's some ladies auxiliary, um, VFW auxiliary pins. There's one of these right now being offered on eBay for $19. And I got this nice little brooch to go with it. So I'm thinking that's another $25. This is a Catholic Boy Scout emblem. There's a lot of them out there. They don't sell for very much, but it's certainly nice to add to a lot. It's got a really nice shark's tooth in there. Got I'm assuming this is the same guy, like before he went to the war and then when he went to the war. This looks like World War II era to me, but that's kind of a neat little, you know, instant ancestor kind of thing. We can get a few dollars at the flea market or maybe even on eBay. All these pieces here, really nothing special, but they certainly add to the value of the $5. A little pen knife we can probably get 3 to $5 at the flea market for. And these, you know, colored stone cufflinks are pretty nice too. Anyway, so that'd be $30, $80, just $100 right there for a $5 bag. I thought that was pretty cool. So again, one of, the, one of the good things about having two sets of eyes out there looking, because we all see different things. You know, and I watch other people's videos and say, what the heck, I never even thought about that. And, you know, I hope you're watching mine and the same thing's happening to you. It's like, wow, 
I never thought about that, but I learned something. And that's kind of the, the idea about these videos, isn't it, after all? So anyway, hope you like what you're seeing. Please subscribe, give us a like, give us a comment, hit the bell, and we'll let you know when we put up another video. Appreciate your time and watching. Thanks.